Hello and welcome to In The Kitchen With Pen and I don't know when this video is going to be going on but it's another Sunday and today rather than a joint we are going to be having pork chops. Um, we bought the pork chops from the butcher's counter in Tesco's and um, I didn't, when I bought them I didn't realise there was quite such a large size difference. I did say yes I want a smaller one look okay don't really see it there look at the size of that one that's Steve's so all I'm going to do with the pork chops is I'm going to season them as normal with salt pepper and garlic and then they will be griddled I am having mine as a tray bake so if you come on down I'll show you going to do. Right, in my bowl I have some new potatoes that I've halved. I have some chunks of yellow pepper, orange pepper, red pepper, red onion, corn on the cob, courgette, and asparagus and all I'm going to do is I'm just going to put a little olive oil over these and then I'm going to season with plenty of salt and pepper this is pepper okay perhaps I should have said pepper and salt part way through cooking I may add some tomatoes Vegetables do like salt, don't be scared. Some mixed herbs, some dried mixed herbs. About a teaspoon. Some garlic powder. Could use whole garlic and just cut it or crush it, but I'm going in with garlic powder. I'm taking the lazy option today. And then, because I'm having pork, I'm going to use some fennel seeds. And I'm going to go in with just a few fennel seeds. And then, I'm going to get my hands in and toss to make sure that everything not only has the oil, but it has all those lovely flavourings. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to leave that for an hour or so and then, oh it smells great already, we shall come back when it's time to cook. That was a quick wasn't it? Look what I forgot, I forgot my lemon zest. And add that to... squeeze of the juice make sure we've got all the lemon zest look at all that and pop that in right. and now we're going to leave it for a while and cook that's better right then we are back i have seasoned our pork chops with salt pepper garlic powder i have scored the skin to and we're going to be cooking them in our ninja um max grill pro so i am going to i'm going to actually use the probe so i'll show you all that in a minute but i just want to show you this it's a sling and this is perfect for popping your chicken on when you're cooking it in any air fryer and you can just lift it out. I'm going to experiment with it on using other utensils in my air fryers too. 
but I think it should work. It's silicone, so it won't scratch any of your um, Ninja surfaces. That's a really good plus, isn't it? Anyway, come down, I'll show you what we're doing with the bork. Now, our Ninja Max Grill Pro has a temperature probe. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pop it into the thicker of the hook chops and we need to go to about the middle of the chop and I can feel it, it's there. So it's in. And what I'm going to do, let's shut the lid down. Shut the lid down, we'll press start, we are going to, we're going to grill them, but we're going to use our presets which are here. So our preset, well we haven't got beef, we haven't got chicken, we've got pork and we'll go for medium. So pork medium and we press start. That will start heating up and as soon as it's ready to go, I will pop the pork chops in. This stops you having to worry, how long do I cook it for? Will it be cooked? We know that using this, they will be perfectly cooked. Just want to point out that my pork chop also has fennel seeds and lemon on it in keeping with the vegetables. As you can see, it's now telling me to add the food. So let's lift the lid and go in with the chop. See that wonderful sizzle straight away? And that's what we want. I'm going to let those cook. Well, it needs to get to 65 or on 15. So when they get to about 35, I will add our vegetables. It's, te it's telling me to flip the chops, so that's exactly what I'm going to do. Uh, wow. Look at that. Can you see that? That's not going to over. Beautiful. And the larger one. And as you can see, probably I have chopped a few onions ready to go in. So down with the lid and uh, we'll add the veggies in a few moments. I have added the veggies, I forgot to show you, but they're in there, hopefully you can see. And obviously meat needs to rest before you serve it. So when the chops are cooked, I will take them out, put them on a plate, continue cooking the veg and add in these little few tomatoes that I've got here. I will also check the temperature of the meat with an external probe. Well, it's telling me to get food, so let's just check what the temperature is, we'll switch on and I'll pop the light on so that you can see. Oh wow. And that's, yeah, 65.3. So there we go, we know that's cooked. So let's get it onto a plate. Get them both on there. And they look absolutely scrummy. I know it needs to rest, but I'm just going to pop them there to rest. Now I can spread out the veggies, add our tomato, and we just need to cook them. This time I'm going to go, switch off, we'll go to roast and it says 25 minutes i'm just going to start it we're going to stop the preheat lift the lid add the food down that's now cooking 
nothing more we need to do just keep a wee eye on them we don't want them I don't mind them charred I don't want them burnt but meantime take a look at these wow 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 they look fabulous so just gonna leave those to one side and you'll see dinner when it's dished up then there we have our dinners steve's lovely thick pork chop is served with fried egg let's just put some salt and some pepper over that mashed potatoes and sweet corn and peas and the mashed potatoes and sweet corn were cooked in the speedy and i've got a tray bake a well-cooked vegetables but hey ho anyway what's next you know i take steve's through and then we'll be back for the taste for watching this edition of in the kitchen <laughs> with pen and sometimes Steve. if you'd like to see more of our cooking and review videos then click here but if you'd really like to help the channel grow and subscribe please click here <laughs> thanks for watching see you soon bye bye oh yes keep cooking Right, send that to me.